Okay, in this little tutorial, what I'm going to show you is how to add some punch to your photo. And if you look at this photo, this is a, a picture that really could, could do with that little bit of punch. It's took inside uh, a gardening quarters at Cork Abbey in Derbyshire. And it's really probably a, a picture that would look best in black and white. But we can add punch to, to both colour and black and white images. So we'll have a look at the best way of doing that. Now, of course, punch, in a lot of cases, people say use the contrast sliders, contrast adjustments, and that does work. But this is my method. And what we're also going to do is to sharpen the image, first of all, and then add some punch to it, using more or less the same method. So let's have a look at that. So first of all, let's look at our layers. And always, and in all my tutorials you'll see me do this, I duplicate the layer. And that's just so I'm protecting the original image. Then what we're going to do is actually duplicate this again. Because we're going we're gonna to use these um, to create our punch and our sharpening. Okay, and I'm actually going to name them. So I'm going to double click on this one and I'm going to call that one punch. I'm not going to call the other one Judy, but we're going to call the other one. So just double click on that, sorry. There we go. I was going to type in Judy then, that's totally thrown me now. So, so this one I'm going to call sharpen. There we are. And what I'm going to do is to hide the punch layer by just clicking the eye there so that we're just displaying this image. I know it looks exactly the same because we've got the same picture on three layers at the moment. But what we're going to do to this is to apply a filter to it. So we go to filter, we go to other, and we use high pass. Now, the eye pass filter is used a lot by professionals for sharpening. And in most cases, if we look at this, if I click, you can see the original image. What we want to do is to bring through this detail, so all those little spores of detail there. And we do that by cranking up the radius. And if we look, we can now see if we look at the text on there, you can see. That's the type of the effect that we're looking for. That's the part that will sharpen, the part that's showing through. So I'll click on OK, and then we've got this lovely grey picture. We go back to our layers, we make sure we're on the sharpen, and we change the layer mode from normal to soft light. And if we zoom in at 100%, and we go to our sharpen layer and we hide that for the moment you will just see it's just adding that that's off that's on and you can see the detail is much improved on that okay now let's just zoom out to, we'll click on that go back to our layers and we click on the punch and bring it back by clicking on the eye now what that's doing at the moment is it's taking it off the sharpening because we've sharpened the layer underneath. If you understand what I mean, it's below. So what we're just looking at now is a copy of the bottom image with no sharpening on whatsoever. But we're going to use the same technique for this to create our punch. And this is a technique that's little known and little used. I've come across it by accident really and notice just how brilliant it was at, at adding that bit of punch to your photograph. So what we do is we go to filter and we go to other and we click on eye pass again. Now when people use this for sharpening professionally it's very rare they go too high with the radius. I might go to, to three or whatever and, and try and do that. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it all the way up. To around, let's say around 100, 140, 130, it doesn't got to be exact, but around that. So it looks quite washed out now. And then I'll click on OK. And then I'll go, just like with the other layer, I'll go to the layer mode and I'll change it to soft light. Now 
Now, the beauty using this rather than contrast is for some, for some reason it, it holds the luminosity of the picture. In other words, the light of the picture. It hasn't made it much darker in this top corner. If we look, the lighting really in the darker areas hasn't changed that much. It's a little bit darker, obviously, but it's it's not dramatically darker. And it just gives such a nice overall look, so much punch to, to that. And for a colour photo, I would say that's, uh, that's probably all that would need. But let's go to black and white. So I'm going to make this a black and white image now by using my favourite technique for black and white. So that's to go to the adjustments on the layers and click on solid colour and it doesn't matter whatever you pick in this it could be pure black or pure white but it's got to be one or the other so let's just go right down into the corner and drag into the corner make sure that all the numbers here are on zero and that means I've got pure black and I click on OK and then I go to the layer mode and I also change that to colour So there now is our black and white image. Now what I could do is come down to that punch layer and say if I want to add a bit more punch to it, I can right click on this and duplicate that layer and that doubles the effect. And you can see now we're getting this really classy black and white image. And again, if you look at the luminosity of the picture, if you look at the light of the picture, it isn't really, although we've doubled the effect, it's making the black slightly darker, obviously, that's what we want to do, but it's not affecting the overall luminosity that much. So, if I take the opacity of that down, I've got any control I want over that, I can make it less, I can make it more, so I'm probably going to come to about there. If I was doing this as a black and white image, I'd say, okay, that's probably, I'm losing a bit of view. I want to see a bit more into this pot here. And this is basically using techniques I've done in a previous lesson, but we'll take you through using the lasso tool. And what we do with the lasso tool is we make sure we've got a large feather on there. And I'm using a feather of about 60. So make sure you've got 60 in there. If you're working on a full sized image, if you work on a cropped image, you may have to alter and adjust just to, to get the technique you want. But you can view my previous video on that for that for those techniques. So basically, I'm going to draw. Remember, I've got a soft edge on here, so I haven't got to be really particular. It's going to be quite soft on the edge of the selection. I'm drawing in that shadow area there. And then I'm going to go and select a curve layer. So I'll go to my adjustments. So the adjustments is this circle that's cut in half, half black, half white. I click on the curves and I basically just go to the middle and I drag it up slightly. And you see the more I drag it up the more I can see into that pot. Or the darker I can make it. So we're just working from the middle and I'm just bringing it up just a little bit I don't want to go too much. I just want to see a little bit more detail in that pot there. So there we've got the classic look black and white photo. And I think you have to agree with that. It's a really nice process. It looks fairly classical. Okay, so that's how to give punch to your images. Of course, when you went to save that, if you wanted as a JPEG, right click on your layers, flatten the image or save it or go to file save as if you want to keep this so you can always come back and edit it because the nice thing about it you can always adjust the curves where you've got the layers there but obviously if you want to put it on the internet as a JPEG or you want to save it as a TIFF image for printing whatever then you can flatten the image if you've completed with it and save it as a TIFF or a JPEG. Not that option. All the best from Les Arnott.